One of the most important additions to the Jurassic Coast collection in its early phase is an assemblage of 380 insect fossils from the beaches near to Lyme Regis and Charmouth in Dorset. What makes this collection so fantastic is that the Lower Lias is a typically marine fossil environment. Much of the area around Dorset and East Devon was below a warm, shallow tropical sea known as the Tethys. We know this because of the fantastic fossils that we find here. Ammonites, for example, or marine reptiles such as ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs, which would have preyed on anything in the Jurassic Sea. How, therefore, did we end up with such a diverse and fantastically well-preserved insect assemblage? Well, scientists believe that there were small archipelagic island chains dotted around Dorset during the early Jurassic. These would have been located at areas of topographic high during the time, so perhaps the Mendip Hills in Somerset or the Granite Massives in Cornwall. Much like modern islands, these would have been subject to intense periodic storm events which snapped trees, washed vegetation into rivers, and eventually this would have all been swept into the sea, floated at the sea surface for a short period of time, and then sunk to the bottom where it was able to be buried and incorporated into the fossil assemblage. If any insects had been unfortunate enough to be living in the wood during this time, or perhaps resting on the vegetation raft at the sea surface, then eventually these two would have become part of the fossil record. It's a truly remarkable feat of preservation that such fragile and intricate remains survived passage to the bottom of the sea and weren't just broken apart by currents and activity at the seafloor. This collection is particularly important for a number of reasons. First, it addresses historical collector bias. Most of these fossils are less than a millimetre in size and difficult to identify. They're not readily found on the Jurassic coast owing to their rarity, but even less often are they recorded and recovered by collectors. They are, however, of significant scientific importance. A number of the fossils within this collection have been identified as probable new species, a single specimen has been confirmed as a new species, and these provide a remarkable insight into the function and morphology of these creatures. We've got some fantastic details preserved, including the eyes, leg hairs and colour patterning on the wings. It is fair to say that the Jurassic Coast is one of, if not the most important global localities for lower Jurassic insect fossils. We hope to use this collection to help to demonstrate the importance of the Jurassic Coast, its diverse fossil record and also connect the wider public audience with current ecological issues around climate change and eco-diversity. These specimens demonstrate the importance of the Jurassic Coast collection and the potential that comes from improved stakeholder relationships and collaboration between different groups. These fossils are privately owned, which means that typically they would not be accessible to the wider public audience or to researchers who were interested in studying them. Through the Jurassic Coast Collection, we've been able to partner the collector with an academic research group that are interested in working with the fossils and also arrange for potential loans and displays to local museums so that people can connect with and engage with these fantastic fossils.